Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on RevoTrainings.com. In this episode, we will review a application which we built during our cloud application programming model training with OData V4 on Business Application Studio. This is a quick preview video of what we have built by far in this series of sessions with cloud application programming model on Cloud Foundry. For complete detailed training, please subscribe our course on anubavetrainings.com. So let's get started and understand how does this Fury application behaves with draft enabled functionality. So let's first understand what is a draft Fury application. So if you wanted to relate to the real world of our business application, you can relate with a Gmail. So once upon a time, I was sitting into a cab and I was rushing towards my office. And during this rush time, I was opening and accessing my Gmail on my cell phone. I started typing an important email on my cell phone and suddenly what I see, it runs out of battery and my cell phone switches off. When I reach to my office, what I see when I enter inside my office and open the laptop and the PC of my office laptop and put my phone, of course, on the charge, I was able to open the same email which was half ready into my laptop. Where? So inside your Gmail account, you will see a section called draft where the email which are yet not sent will be saved. So that's an amazing capability. So basically it gives me a possibility to switch my device and also give a temporary state of my work. Can this be implemented on SAP business applications? Answer is yes. And that's what we call draft functionality. So this draft functionality is available in S4 HANA system. with CDS BOPF framework or you can also use the RAP framework. Both of these trainings are also available on anubavetrainings.com. At the same time, we also have now this draft enabled available with SAP Cloud Foundry business technology platform training with cloud application programming model, which is the framework. So what this is what we see. So we have built an application where you as a developer or end user will start creating a purchase order. So you click on add, create a new purchase order and you start filling the data. Now, as in when you're filling the data, the application will automatically save this data into a table, database table. And this table is actually a staging table. We can call it a staging or draft or intermediate table, whatever name you, you feel, you can call it actually it's a draft table. So here this unsaved work or uncommitted work will keep saving automatically. And then once the user saves the actual order, we hit the save button, a set of validation rules runs, and then the data will now move from this staging table to the actual database table where it is saved in a consistent state. Wow. And all of this happens out of the box through the Capon framework. So let us go ahead and see this in action in our application, which we had built during our cloud application programming training. So what I will now do is I will switch over back to our Fury application, which we built on Capon. And this is what we built it using uh, our business application studio. So this is our application by far. And if I click on create of a new purchase order, and I say create, the purchase order starts creating. And let me enter a 30000 and say 99. I'm saving a new purchase order. And let's say net amount 500, tax amount 50. And I can do an F4 help. So you see value helps are also we have supported using annotations using Fury elements. And when you do F4, you get the list of all the vendors. I can select one vendor. And now we can also add line items. So this is also supported in our end to end Fury application, which we built. Line item position, gross amount, let's say 50. 
500 or maybe 50 or 50 and now i can add a product description product quid so let me choose a product now i say okay and click on and did you notice that there is a draft which is getting saved wow so this is what system does out of the box so if i go back to our project in Kevin, i can switch over to my database tools and if i open our database connection you would see that there is a set of tables which is storing the draft for both purchase order and purchase order items nice this both got created automatically i can right click and say open the table records and you will see a new table record which are just created in the system you see the purchase order number this is the intermediate state now suddenly let's imagine my application stops uh, due to device switch or due to some reason power failure happens or internet failure happens i stopped my app or i closed it and let me relaunch it once again i will be able to restore the last saved intermediate state from the draft table so i will launch again my application let's say maybe i switch a device or a browser and now i can go back and choose here the own draft applications and as i go and voila you can see this is my half completed purchase order which i was creating in front of you i go inside and you would have noticed that we're using flexible column layout in fury and you can see my order id with all the values and also my line item is also available nice wow that's cool isn't it yeah and now it's time that we finally save this purchase order and this is what is going to finally give persistence to my business object i click on create object has been saved and now you can see this has been saved did you notice that instead of technical id system is also showing semantic meaningful description for the business partner as well as for product so we have also supported that using fury elements in annotations you can edit or delete if you go back and notice our draft table you will have one record less now if i just refresh my table data so if you just refresh show table data you have gone you have seen that my record for draft is gone and so let's go back to the application to search our purchase order so i will enter the purchase order id here and we will search and there you go this is our purchase order which has been just created into the system you can navigate to the line items and also to the header information for the given purchase order so this is how exactly we can work with the draft functionality i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the basics of how the draft works in case of fury elements with cloud application programming model thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video